Welcome to my channel. Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School Shooting It was February 14, 2018, when a gunman entered the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School and began shooting at the students and staff. Seventeen people were left dead and many more injured. The shooter would go on to flee the scene, blending in with everyone else who were fleeing the scene. He would later be identified as 19-year-old Nicholas Cruz. He would go on to be arrested just an hour later. It was soon discovered after the shooting that the police had already had warnings about Nicholas Cruz, but failed to act on these warnings. It is believed at the time, a member of staff recognized Nicholas and mentioned this to their colleague, saying he was heading towards building number 12, however, for whatever reason, they did not pursue Nicholas and he was allowed to continue on his way. Nicholas entered building number 12, which contained 30 classrooms, and was occupied at the time by at least 900 students and 30 teachers. He began firing on the students and teachers in the hallway, before a fire alarm was activated. It isn't known who activated the fire alarm, but this seemed to cause some confusion, after there had already been a fire drill earlier that day. At around 2.21 p.m., a member of staff activated a lockdown after discovering the body of one of the victims, and hearing gunfire. It would be at around 3.40 p.m. that police finally caught up with Nicholas, just two miles from the school, where he was arrested as being the suspected shooter. The shooting lasted just six minutes, but left a trail of devastation. It has been reported that paramedics requested to enter the building, but were denied by the Broward Shafif's department, even though Nicholas had been arrested, the reason for this is unclear. Twelve of the victims would die inside the building, while three others died outside the building, with another two dying later in hospital from their injuries. It is reported that teacher Scott Beigel was killed after he unlocked a classroom for students to enter and hide in. Survivors of the shooting struggled with survivor's guilt and post-traumatic stress disorder. Sadly just 13 months after the shooting, there would be another death associated with the shooting. Sydney Aiello who survived the shooting but lost her friend, took her own life after struggling with survivor's guilt. Just a week after this, another student also took their own life after struggling with the guilt of that day's events. It is believed that Nicholas Cruz had behavioral issues since middle school. It is believed that he often made threats against other students. He was transferred from different schools six times in just three years and continued to make threats against students at each school. It was believed that he could have been dealing with a number of conditions, such as depression, autism and attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. In the year leading up to the shooting, it is thought that he was not receiving any type of treatment for his conditions. At his arraignment, Nicholas Cruz was charged with 17 counts of premeditated murder. If he was convicted of first-degree murder, he could be facing the possibility of a death penalty. Many of the survivors that day, asked politicians not to give them condolences but to take more action to prevent this tragedy from ever happening again. They demanded stricter gun control measures. It was on March 7, 2018 that the grand jury indicted Nicholas Cruz on 34 charges, 17 counts of first-degree murder and 17 counts of attempted first-degree murder. He will either face the death penalty or face life in prison. More than $7.5 million was raised for the victims of the shooting. After the shooting, many conspiracies began to circulate, with some even claiming it was staged by crisis actors. Like with many disasters and tragedies, conspiracies will always follow. However, what is to be remembered is that 17 people were left dead after this tragic shooting. We forever remember those who died that day, and all those who were left injured and affected. May you never be forgotten.
Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to view other content.